You know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. He was having a rough time. YouTube issues, you know. Those of you know YouTubers have issues with copyright and things like that. So I had to kind of help him out. It's just part of the game. You have to go through it. And I was really thinking about and reflecting on, you know, my life and my pain. And we're talking about, you know, he was really he was really worried. He was really worried about his channel. He was worried about his income being affected and he was worried about losing everything. It was really seemed to be a glitch in the system. I actually had a similar glitch hit me on Monday, but I was able to I was able to get that fixed within just a few hours. His took a couple days, but either way, he's good. But, you know, one of the things that I told him was, man, this isn't pain, dude. This is not pain. Pain is uh, having your YouTube channel possibly, you know, get, having copyright problems or being deleted. Yes, that is definitely something that can affect you. But we were talking about pain, like pain in life, like losing a loved one and things like that. And I really... Something came over me. I'm not really sure what, but I basically told him, I'm going to write what I'm going to read you guys what I wrote because I wrote this down actually. And uh, I wrote this down and I'm going to read it to y'all and kind of go into it. It may sound a little bit weird to some, but let me kind of go into it. So I wrote, even though I miss them daily, part of me is glad that my parents passed away at a young age before I hit 30. I miss them, but for one, they're not in this world feeling pain that we're all feeling. And the other, more internal reason is that losing them at 22 and 29 shaped me into the man I've become today and someone I've been proud of. It goes for all of my hardships, being homeless, breakups, etc. all made me stronger and more durable man. All of these things made me tougher, inspired survival skills, and taught me how precious life is. I would obviously bring them back if I could somehow, but there was some good in their passing because it developed me more. It took me almost 20 years to come to that conclusion, and honestly, it brings me peace. That's something that I never thought I would say, and I'm not sitting here saying that I'm happy that they're gone because I'm not. I miss my parents every day, and their passing really did affect me psychologically. But I was thinking about how because I lost them at a young age, had I not lost them at a young age, how would my life have turned out? Would I have been as hard of a worker? Would I have been as tough as I, as I have become? I'm not the strongest person on earth, nor am I the most badass, but I'm tough. I know that I'm tough because I've been through a lot in my life and I've overcome it all. And... It, I really sit here sometimes when I'm going through hardships and I think, man, like, I kind of wish I had it easy, but part of me doesn't wish that because part of me is actually kind of glad I had it tough. And that's what I was kind of going through here. And the thing is, obviously, there have been others who have it more bad than I do. There's people who have it way worse than me. They can't even eat in some third world country. They can't eat. They can't drink clean water. They don't have a roof over their head. They have to deal with the environment. They can't speak and say whatever they want because of their government. You know, obviously there are those out there who have it worse. There's also some that have really bad diseases that cause them problems all the time. Daily, in fact. And I can relate to being sick because I have been. We all can. But it made me tough. You know, if my parents were still alive... I probably wouldn't work as hard on my businesses as I have. Because if you've got your parents to fall back on, if you come from a, a money a wealth, I didn't come from wealth. I, I was poor. I was poor. Most of my life I've been poor. And so if my parents were the kind of parents that had money and that were always there, I could fail and always have them to fall back on, but I can't do that in my life. I have to succeed. I have to be successful. I have to earn income. I have to work hard because I don't have the option of saying, well, if I can't afford my rent, I can move in with my parents. I don't have that option. I've never had that option since I was like, what, 23? Because I moved out. I moved out of my house when I was 22. At that point, my mom was already dead. Me and my dad didn't get along, so I moved out and Really, that was a good thing because 
I learned how to live on my own. And trust me, when you move out, and those of you who have done this, you know, and you live on your own, you understand the true value of money and the true value of the responsibility you have as an adult. You got to make sure your bills are paid on time. You got to make sure your house is clean. You got to make sure that your clothes are clean. You got to make sure that you're, you're, you're living a, a good life and that your friends are taken care of and your family, if you have that. You know, you got to make sure you're taken care of. Losing my parents young made me stronger. Going through breakups like I've been through and I've talked about made me stronger. It made me not only stronger, guys, and I want you to really think about this because a lot of you guys have gone through breakups or you've been rejected by a girl. It's not the same thing. One is more painful, obviously, but it's the same idea in that every time you get rejected, you get stronger because you build a tolerance for it. You callous yourself on it. And every time that you go through a breakup, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's painful, but you learn from it. And not just that, you also kind of figure out the kind of woman that you want. And the same thing goes for like women and trans and gay. It doesn't matter what your sexual preference is. When you go through a breakup, it sort of changes and molds the kind of woman that you want based on what you went through, the pros and cons of the previous relationship. For example, the last chick I broke up with, well, no, not the last one. The one before was somebody who had a lot of good things going for herself, but she's very immature, very immature, very inexperienced. And I realized like, you know what? It was fun, but I kind of want somebody who's a bit more of an adult. And that happens. You learn from it. But in reality, the idea of happiness, the idea of like being genuinely happy is in many ways a myth because you're going to go through life and you're going to have your happy moments. When you go to the beach, when you have theme parks, when you, you know, go to theme parks, when you make love, when your children are born, when you accomplish a goal, you're going to have moments of happiness. But this idea of living blissful and happy forever, it doesn't work that way because we age, we get older, we get sicker. Life will throw obstacles and problems our way that we have to solve. That's literally life. There's no such thing as being ultimately happy. There is such thing as being content, but for some people, there is no way you can be content. There are people out there who have $100 million who think that's not enough. They want more. They want more power. They want more political stroke. I get it. I'm not at $100 million right now, but I get it, you know? And ultimately, the more pain you go through, the better and stronger person you'll become. So I say this to let y'all know, I understand the need to avoid pain. I get it. I've done it. But sometimes when you're going through pain, next time you're going through something, even if it's something that's catastrophic to your life, A, First of all, think, is it really catastrophic? For example, if you get fired from your job, that sucks. I've been fired from plenty of jobs. Doesn't mean that I'm never going to work again. If I have to pick between getting fired from a job or having a leg broken, I'd rather get fired from the job. I'll figure something out. I will figure out how to survive because I've been able to do that since I was 22. I have been on my own since I was 22 years old. With very little help. Let me tell you, I was homeless at one time. I'm glad that I was homeless. You want to know why? You might be thinking, damn, man, why would you be glad? I'm glad that I went through that because I learned the value of having a home. Now, my home that I own 10 years after I was homeless, my house is mine. Not the banks, not some, some other owner. My house is mine. I was homeless in 2009, and 10 years later, I owned my own home in 2019. Paid off. Not just that, but because of upgrades that I've made to the house, the value of the house has gone up almost $200,000. I'm not saying it's worth that much. I'm saying it's gone up that much in just the past four years. I have gained $200,000 worth of property equity off of this house. The value of the house has gone up because the markets obviously went up all over the country and because of the upgrades that I gave the house. 
So think about what I'm saying. If you're going through something right now, say you're going through something where you might not have a job or you might have gone through a fight with your friend or a breakup, all that stuff's going to be in the past at some point. What's going to happen to your life in 10 years? Are you going to be a millionaire? Are you going to be a homeowner? Are you at least going to have a good job that you can come home and say, you know what, I'm happy doing what I do? You might if you work for it. If you would have told me in 2009, listen to me, if you would have told me in 2009 when I was sleeping on the floor with roaches that in 10 years I would have a completely paid off house and that my job, my career would be talking about a fucking cartoon and movies, I would have said you were nuts. YouTube wasn't what it was in 2009 at all. It existed, but it wasn't what it was, what it would become. You don't know what could open up for you in the future. Time is very relative. Time is happening now. When you're going through pain, you're going through it now, and it sucks. But think about it. That pain that you're going through might not be around forever. But I'm glad that I went through the pain. And someday, many of you, when you get older, you'll look back on your hardships and say, you know what, I'm glad I went through that. I remember that speakdom that Danny put out. I remember what he said about how pain is actually a good thing. It toughens you the fuck up. It toughens you up. I had to give my friend a freaking come to Jesus letter. When I told him, I was like, you're being a pussy right now. You're being a pussy. 29 years old he is. Perfectly healthy. Worst case scenario, you lose your YouTube, you can get another job. I don't want that to happen, and thankfully it didn't. This problem got fixed, but it's just funny how when we go through shit, we freak out. We catastrophize. We think of the worst case scenario. I've done it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I haven't done it. And it took a lot of mental training and therapy so I can learn not to catastrophize. I've done speakdoms about it. You might be going through a time in your life right now when you get rejected by a girl where you say, damn, am I too ugly? Will I ever find love? What if in 10 years you're married to a beautiful wife and you have three kids? You don't know. But you can work for it. And you'll look back and say, you know what? I'm glad I was rejected by those girls because those girls weren't for me. They weren't even good girls. I learned that about my exes. Not all of them, but I learned from them. I loved them when I was in the relationship, but I learned that even though I loved them, they might not have been the one. Really, if I'm going to be honest with you, relationships are not just about love. There's a lot more to it than that. People don't want to talk about this, but it's a lot deeper than just how much you love them, how much they love you. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's a different video. This is about how pain has made me strong and tough and has made me work harder. I'm glad I went through this pain. I work every freaking day, but I like what I do for a living. I wake up, I check my phone. I'm always working. I go to Vegas on vacation. I'm still checking my phone, reading your comments, replying to some of them, seeing what's going on with the news. I'm always working, but that's okay. That's the life. That's part of being a business owner. If you own a business, a restaurant, a drop shipping business, an Etsy store, a YouTube channel, Twitch channel, you're always working. You're always checking things and, and thinking about things and brainstorming. You're always working, but it's freedom because it's the kind of work you like to do. That's why I'm very pro small business. Not all you guys are going to be business owners, but I encourage you to at least try to do something you want to do. And it might take time, but if you work at it, you'll get there. Don't be afraid to work and don't be afraid of feeling pain because guess what? You're going to go through it. If you're right now listening to this and your parents are alive, I've got news for you. There's a high chance they're going to die before you and you will go through an extreme amount of pain. I, I can tell you firsthand that when you lose a parent, it doesn't just go away. It gets better over time, but it does not just go away. It's always a scar in your heart. But now looking back, if it hadn't happened to me, dude, I wouldn't be so fucking tough. I, I, I go to Twitter and I see these kids that are like so pampered complaining about shit that doesn't even matter, dude. Oh my God, did you see that scene where Goku, oh my God, Spider-Verse, oh, oh my God, the Flash movie, Ezra Miller. Who gives a fuck, bro? 
Who gives a, a fuck about some actor doing some weird shit? Worry about yourself, man. I cover that shit on the channel, but I also get paid to do it, and I like covering it. I enjoy that. But just people wasting their lives away complaining about shit. Oh, my God, did you see the new update? Oh, look what this person said. Like a pussy, bro. Like a pussy. I ain't got time to do that shit, bro. I'm running four. Not one, not two, not three. Now four businesses. I do not have time to bitch about shit that doesn't matter. And you know what? That is a good problem to have. Because I know for a fact that, and I'm kind of already there now, although I'm not there entirely where I want to be. I know for a fact that I'm going to retire young. And I'm already half retired as it is, to be honest. But I know I'm going to retire young and live happy and enjoy my life and enjoy my latter years of my life with money and being able to chill and just hang out with my friends and my family, whatever I have left of them, versus wasting my time complaining about some celebrity shit or bitching about what somebody else says on the internet when I made it, you know? I made it to where I wanted to be. And it's all because of the pain that I felt. I think some people need to feel some pain. Some people need to get fucking smacked around. They need to get their asses kicked or they need to have something bad happen to them to appreciate what they have. Appreciate the fact that you have a roof over your head. Appreciate the fact that you have a smartphone. Appreciate these things, man. Sit back and appreciate it. It's hard to do sometimes because you see the other guy doing better than you. Fuck that. Appreciate your life and appreciate the pain that God is going to put you through because you will come out stronger after after it. It's a guarantee. Or you'll let it eat you up. And you're a lot tougher than you realize. Take care.